welcome to my channel and today I did a soft glam Valentine's Day tutorial ish or tutorial look yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video it's gonna be a voiceover and well I think it's gonna be a voiceover and I really made this intro just to say thank you to everybody who's um, following and subscribing and liking um, I really 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 appreciate it and I can't wait to do more stuff I'm so excited but I hope you guys enjoy this video and please like and comment if you have any suggestions or constructive criticisms or um oh and subscribe to my channel please um yeah I hope you guys like it bye so we're gonna start off by taping off the side of our eyes so that we get a nice clean edge when we're finished and I'm going into my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette and using the colors Buzz and Dust all over my lid and to apply it I'm using the same brush that came in the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. Next, I'm using this Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush to put the color Nooner from that same Urban Decay Naked 3 palette into my crease to add a little bit of depth. So I'm going into the Coastal Scents Reveal 2 palette and using that purplish reddish brown color to add more depth into the outer V part of my eye and rubbing it halfway onto the lid just to create that gradient effect from the inside out. And here I'm using this brush from Eco Tools just to smudge the black color from the Coastal Scents Reveal 2 palette on my lash line and also taking it up in kind of like a wing. I wanted this to be a very soft look so I didn't want to use a gel liner or a liquid liner. It's very soft so I just used a black shadow to create the wing shape and to make my lashes look fuller and then eventually you're going to see me take the black into my outer V and a little bit of the crease and that's just to add a little bit more depth as well. And then we're going back in with that same brush we used to apply the color Nooner and just blending it all out and making sure it's flawless. So right here, I'm just going back over the colors Buzz and Dust just to make it more vibrant. And then I'm going into the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and taking that color Venus and putting it on the inner corners of my eye to add to the gradient and to make the eyes look a little more open. And we're taking the tape off in clear line, as you can see. And then I'm using a makeup wipe here just to remove any fallout. And a little touch up here and there. <laughs> now I'm taking this e.l.f. eyelash curler and just curling my lashes to prepare them for the falsies and also applying my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. And here I'm using the Ardell 105 Black Lashes. They're very wispy and kind of delicate looking so I thought that it fit this look pretty well. Oh, and I also use the Duo Lash Adhesive to put these on, per usual. And here I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation, and I am the shade Natural Beige, or number 220. And I'm using my Real Technique sponge to blend that into my face. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and this is in the color Sand, and I'm applying that under my eyes to highlight and down the bridge of my nose, on the top of my forehead, and over the cupid's bow of my lip. And I'm blending that out using the same Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Next, I'm setting my face with the Beauty Control Translucent Powder. And here, I'm just contouring using my e.l.f. Contour Blush and Bronzing Powder and also using the Luxie 504 Large Angled Brush. And I'm also using, getting a little bit of the side of that brush into the contouring powder and then brushing it alongside my nose just to contour my nose a teeny tiny bit. And here I'm just going to the e.l.f. blush palette in light and using that color on the bottom left, it's like a mauvey pink. I thought that would look really good with this. And then I'm just going over that with my Becca Liquid Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal and using that e.l.f. stippling brush to blend that out. And this is going to be the base of my highlight. On top of that, I'm going to be going in with the Physician's Formula Powder Palette Mineral Glow Pearls in the color Translucent Pearl just to give a soft highlight to the face. I wanted everything to be soft and as natural looking as possible for this look. And here we're going back in with that brownish, reddish, purplish color from the Reveal 2 palette from Coastal Scents and using that underneath our lash line. And then I'm going in a little bit with the black from that palette just to even everything out so that the top looks like the bottom. And we're not carrying that black all the way into the inner corners. We just want to keep it on the outer parts just to define the look a little bit more. And adding more of that Venus color from the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette to the inner tear duct to help the eyes look more open. Here I'm going in with the Jordana Lip Liner in Coco Loco and just outlining my lips. And then I'm going over that with the Milani Plum Rose color. I wanted to do a nude lip because I thought that would be more soft, but I'm not really a nude lip type of girl. <laughs> I don't care for nude lips that often. I wear them like on an everyday basis, but I really like color on my lips. And then here I'm just going with my NYX setting spray in matte. And I also forgot to add some L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara to my lower lashes. So you can go ahead and do that as well. And that's the look you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I look forward to doing many more for you guys and at least one other Valentine's Day tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.